What's good, everybody? Welcome to the show. I'm here with my girl, Gina, my sister from another mister. We here to talk about from episode six. What's up, Gina? How you doing? How you feeling? Hey, I'm feeling so much better. Last week, I was so sick. Mm, well, I'm glad you're you feeling better. You know when better. kids go to school when they're younger and they go to school and they interact with everybody? It's like they come home, the whole house is sick. Yep, yep. Miserable. That's true. Yeah, they they little nasties. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm kids. Glad to be back with you today. Okay. Well, yeah, you came back right on time because this was a fire episode. Anybody that's been watching this show and enjoying it like we have, damn, this was a good episode. A lot came yeah. out. Boyd finally opened his mouth. I'm surprised when he did. Uh, Ellis, you know, the blood. Man, so much to go on, man. What What's your first thoughts on this episode? I thought it was a great episode. I thought it was a great episode. I was just like, oh, come on, let's get something. And we got a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got a lot. Definitely. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I don't even know where to start on this. I mean, <laughs> where where would you want to kick it off at? What was one of the things you want to start from? The town okay. reacting to Sarah. Okay. Like Tabitha and them came to talk to Boyd. They found out that Sarah was back. And I understood Tabitha wholeheartedly. Like she's like, she tries to kill my son. She don't need to be here. And then the fact that you didn't tell us, like, you know. Mm-hmm. So I understood that. And like, it's to be expected. She did a horrible thing. And it's True. crazy how like the people, the new people are reacting to her. It, it's all bad like she did a horrible thing right that's true you know one thing that i do when i watch movies and tv shows is i always kind of see myself and whatever it is going on and what i mean Mm -hmm. by that is not like i would be killing and drug dealing and a zombie or whatever but you know what i mean like i'd be like run i would have ran or i would have said this you know Mm -hmm. what i mean So when I see this, I be looking at Boyd and I'm like, man, I would have said, dude, I just found her. We just got back when I was supposed to kill her in the woods. Like Mm -hmm. we trying to figure this out. Like, I mean, you know, yeah, it go in the box, but a lot has happened. I wasn't hiding it from you. I it, it just it I just got back. I mean, what I mean, what you want me to drag her in the town square? I mean, so he not saying enough to defend himself. He like kind of accepting mm-hmm. it like, yeah, I was hiding it. I'm sorry. I know you hate me. Like when he was talking to him, I wouldn't be saying that. I'd be like, look, I wasn't hiding it. Don't hate me because that wasn't the case. I'm not saying mm-hmm. that she won't go in the box. I'm just saying, let's wait. Let's. It's a lot going on. Right. Let's try to figure it out for a second before we make our next move. That's what I would have been saying. He don't say that, though. Mm -hmm. Because Boyd is just like, you know, she's not going. She's special. We got to figure stuff out. And that's the end. Right. That's it. And people are like, no, we don't want to hear that. Like, she did a horrible thing. Do something about it. It's your rule. Right. So when somebody has these rules, it's like, you know, even with, like, the street street, uh, rules. Mm Mm-hmm. It comes a point in time where you don't want to honor those rules. Maybe somebody close to you did something and you just like, yeah, no. But can you do that? Right. Well, that's true. And see, it's good that you brought up those rules because the first thing I thought of is when Ellis got stabbed. Now mm-hmm. you're going to put old boy in the box? Especially if Ellis right, died. Right, yeah. If Ellis would have died, you're going to put him in the box? Then if you mm-hmm. tried to put him in the box and not her, then it would have been a whole nother thing. Yep. You know, so, you know, I, that's the first thing I thought of when that happened. Like, uh-oh, now mm-hmm. what's boy going to do? You know? Right. And so, and speaking of what somebody going to do, man, I'm, I'm if I was Boyd, I'd been in Fork Kenny up. I'd have whooped his oh, ass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he he got an ass whooping coming. <laughs> he pulled that gun on him. He trying to yell and punk him. Like, hold on now. I'm glad yeah. your I'm glad your nuts finally dropped, but you didn't <laughs> came to the raw one now. I'm about to put you down. I told you you need to take that gun from Kenny. Mm-hmm. 
Well, he also put his gun down. When he pulled it on Mario, right. he put the gun on the table. He was like, oh, I put it down. I put it down. And he just left it there. I was like, boy, you turning your back on this junkie? And you don't know how you just left your gun unattended? Man, he was tripping. Tripping. Yeah. Speaking of mm -hmm. tripping, so we see he finally tried to tell people, well, uh, what's her name again, uh, girl? Yeah, the nurse. Sarah? Oh, Christy. Christy, yeah, Christy. He telling Christy finally about the worms, but people not believing him. Kenny eavesdropping, being nosy. Mm -hmm. So now they think he tripping. Like, why would they think that he's tripping? Do we, after all that they seen and going through, why would he be lying about this stuff? What? I am so glad you said that because I was like, what? monsters come out to feed on you guys at right. night. Thank you. Like, what? You see bodies just laying in the middle of town. We just saw Tom from the bar, the bartender. Like, right. what do you mean you don't believe? Oh, I don't see it. Mm -hmm. What? Definitely. I was annoyed with Christy in that moment. Like, girl, you're not even listening to him. Exactly. Same with uh, Kenny. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, that I'm like, wait a minute. Why y'all not? Li what is so hard to believe? I mean, yeah, it's hard to believe if you didn't come to this town and you wasn't in this situation. Exactly. Yeah, but they should believe him and they know what is going on and they know it's crazy and unexplainable stuff. So mm -hmm. when he was telling them about Martin and inside the, the tower and this and that, no, nah, it didn't make sense. But. I mean that uh yeah, I was with you. I was mad. Another thing I was sitting there thinking is if I was them, I'd be like, Man, what the hell wrong with y'all? Right. Like, <laughs> who gonna lie about that? Right. Like, like I came back I to lie. See he came back and it's different. Yes. Like he's not the same boy. No, it's different. So going a little bit to where they was at the colony house. We see they running out of food, which I was wondering, how is it so much food for all of these people and stuff? Like, I was wondering where they using the bathroom. Is it running water? You know, it's a lot of things a person needs to survive. The more people, if you by yourself, you can poop in the grass. But if you got a hundred people, now it's a problem. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. So, well, 50 people, we don't even know how many people is there. So there least... was a lot of people in Colony House, Jay. I was like, wait a minute. Mm. Y'all know people came on the bus, but damn, like... Man. Who came from? Yeah, I know. The, the ones that was in the house, in Cyrus' house, I've never seen them before. Me neither. So, that's a lot of people. So, they running out of food. A lot is going on over there. They trying to make it work. And they trying to keep it quiet. But then dude finds out and he started threatening with the knife. And mm -hmm. as soon as I saw that, Ellis trying to be the hero, but you don't get that close on somebody with a knife without right. being in a defensive stand. And he just all standing straight upright. Mm -hmm. uh, so what did you think when he got the when he got the sharp end of the stick? Oh, I was just <laughs> like, oh no, not Ellis. And then the dude got the nerve, Gail got the nerve to say, I'm sorry. What? Crazy. And then the crazy thing is, it's at night. I'm like, he is not going to make it through the night. He's sitting up there trying to be soft. Oh, you know, I could just wait to him. He would not have made it to the morning. He would have uh -uh. died. Oh, yeah. Through the night. Like, he would not have made it. So I was just like, oh, my gosh. Now they got to go out. It's dark. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But Elgin... Elgin was the MVP. He was. He was a hero. He mm -hmm. And he just got there, too. Like He was like, meet me at the steps. I was like, you go, boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was a straight hero because he went and got the car, started it up. Them things was mm -hmm. everywhere. 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 Talking on me. Hey, where you going? Mm -hmm. Another thing I was mad when he left the door open. I'm like, don't leave the oh, door yeah. open. <laughs> I said the same thing. Close it. Just close it. Please. Right. They gonna jump in. Because it was no talisman in there. I was nervous when he went out there. I was like, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Could it be in there already? Like, you know, but he made it. He made it. He was hustling. 
Mm-hmm. You know, I definitely thought that Ellis was going to die this episode, actually. I thought he yeah, was Yeah, he came close. He, he came close. He definitely mm-hmm. came close. Now, they were saying he needed a blood transfusion when he got there. And boy, uh-oh, he got that blood. Mm-hmm. Do you think he should have gave Ellis some of that? My blood is your blood? <clears throat> because he's not too sure. He said he could feel it inside him, and it's getting stronger. True. And he don't know what's going on, so I understood him in the parent sense. Like, you know, this is his child. Even though you can see the condition he's in, he's like, you know, that's unknown. I don't know what could happen to him if, if we do the blood transfusion with my blood. Right. So I was just like, you know, but... We got to see now, since it's been done, we got to see what happens from there. Is Ellis going to also get the worms? Like, what's going to happen? Right. Because I was scared for Boyd because I was like, wait a minute, Martin died. Like, is Boyd going to die? Like, what what is he doing? I didn't think about that one. That's a good one. Um, And and I didn't, what I thought was if I was him, I would have been debating about giving him the blood because... It made Martin live damn near forever. So if mm-hmm. I give him the blood, it may be in him, but he'll live. And then we'll have to figure the next step out later. But it'll save him. He'll live, you know. So that's what I was thinking. But what he did, I wasn't thinking at all, which is to put it into one of them. Yeah, I didn't expect that. No. Now, when Kenny said yeah, give it to me, good. I might have gave it to his little punk ass. <laughs> Yeah. Give them worms. They say that's what happened when you get with a real old woman. You're going to get worms. Mm-hmm. I gave them worms. Nah, like a little Yeah, I was puppy. like, Kenny doing too much. Yeah, what the hell wrong with him? <laughs> he better try to get with Christy. She on the ropes. If he act right, he can get her away from old junkie. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I noticed that. I was like, it's something up with this girl. She don't look so good. Like, she... Nah. She looked like she's shifty. So I was just like, it's something up with her. Yeah. So when she did steal the drugs, I was like, I expected it. Mm-hmm. And she was mad she locked them up, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's like, damn, I'm going to get my fix. Right. <laughs> but uh, what did you think when Boy decided to go out there and give that blood to one of the monsters. He almost got his ass toe up. He got surrounded. I was thinking he going out too far. Another thing yeah. I was thinking. If I was me, I'd still be right in front of that door. Ain't nobody getting behind me. To hell with that. <laughs> yes. When old dude appeared, I was just like, okay, there he go. Then the lady came up behind him. I was like, okay, now the one came from this side. I'm Woo. like, boy, go back. Like, you going too far out. You doing too much. Now it's you surrounded. You don't. You don't got no plan. Right. So I was just like, oh boy, what's what's going to happen? But I was just like, why were they just standing there? Like they just stood there. That's why I was like, boy's going to be all right because they they didn't pounce. They just stood there and listened to him. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, oh goodness. <laughs> yeah, that was that was crazy. That was definitely crazy. I wasn't uh, expecting him to do what he did, let alone get out unscathed. Um, And he got a smiley face. Got his ass. Got his ass. And he didn't kill the few people. You know? He was like, I like this game. I was like, Uh "Uh uh-oh. You know you didn't forked up, right? (laughs) And he said, he put that in him. He said, my blood is not your blood. I wonder now, he probably should have kept a little of that juice. Cause they That's make, what I was thinking. There, yeah. Like, I was I, like, oh, maybe, you know, everybody could get a little bit of blood. <laughs> thank <laughs> thank you. Blood. Thank you. Hey, for real. Hey, you don't want to eat us now. We poison. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, so I was thinking of a few positives. About that blood, like yeah. it, it may be eternal life, because uh, mm-hmm. where you stuck, you may need that time to figure out how to hell to get out of there. Because um, mm-hmm. as we saw, that it's been a whole generation of people that's came and went. Oh. You saw all those cars, victim moves. Yes, 
Woo! When Victor said, oh, these are the ones that I gathered, but those over there past the rocks, those was here before we got here, you know, before my group got here. Wow. And I was just like, oh my goodness. Yeah. It was so many of them. So many cars, like a car mm -hmm. lot. And old cars. Mm -hmm. So this has been happening since like the 50s. Yeah. Oh, man. That's why it looks the way it looks. Mm -hmm. That explains a lot. Yeah. Wow. So this could have been going yeah. on for like 70 years, 75 years. Mm -hmm. oh. But look how old Victor is. I know. He, he, he at least. Cars before him. Right. Wow. I know white guys age are a little different than black guys, but I would say he at least 50 years old, or so at least. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right. He looked like he in his 60s or something, but <laughs> yeah. I would say he at least 50, you know, which, mm -hmm. you know. But, uh, yeah, man, I was like, oh, snap. Damn. Even uh, yeah. what you call it was like, oh, no. Damn, mm -hmm. he ain't know what to say when he saw that many cars. So, mm -mm. you know, this has been going on a long time. But uh, that blood, I wouldn't have gave that up so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> At least we'd have to put it in a vial or something and see something mm -hmm. with it before I give it up. You know, that should have been what they did. They should have said, mm -hmm. look, let me put some of this in a little vial first. And then we'll go do this. Right. Then if he need to, he can drink it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back in him. But uh, yeah, man, this was a good episode. A very good episode. Yes. What do you think about Ellis' uh, girlfriend and, and all the things she was going through? I mean, you know, ladies, sometimes you can give your man the cold shoulder. And next thing you know, he almost out of there. You'd be thinking, what did I do? Yeah. At first, when they were going to get the food and she was short with him and dude was like, oh, it was trouble in paradise. I was like, wait, is she still mad, you know, about when they were in the, you know, over there? And then when she was upstairs with him and she was like, oh, you kept that from me? We supposed to get married. I was like, she's pregnant. You I picked said she up on pregnant. the emotions as a female. Mm -hmm. intuition. I was like, oh, she's pregnant because now she's just like, oh, look, you know, you keeping stuff from me. We in this place. Even if it is your father, you gotta. I'm not just anybody. So I was like, "Ooh, this now this is something totally different." She's pregnant. They don't have the resources. That's why she was tripping about the food. Like mm. you know, how is she gonna get her nourishment? Right, right. That's a good pick up. I didn't pick up on the pregnancy, and I didn't pick up on the attitude stuff uh, as that. In the cause, I just thought, man, what the hell is she on? <laughs> so that's why, and this don't have anything to do with this show, but in real life, communication is key in relationships. Mm -hmm. You know, because guys, we don't always pick up on these things. You guys yeah. may think we do, but we don't. So mm -hmm. it's best to say something. So, and uh, right. she still didn't tell him yet, right? That's what I was saying. She didn't say anything to him, so she's mad because he kept a secret. Right. Also keeping a secret. Right. He didn't the body. So the first time that she fell off, she should have said something. Another great point. You own it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you right though, and uh, that's something that I would have brought up too. Uh, eventually, like, wait a minute, you on me about keeping secrets, and you ain't tell me this. I could have died. You should at least told me while I was sitting there dying, so that I could have tried to fight harder. Like, <laughs> wait a minute, right. what? Okay, hold on, <laughs> but take little breaths, <laughs> like Harlem Nights. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> take them little breaths. But, uh, you know, man, I don't know. Yeah, but she pregnant, so it ain't like he could do much. Um, mm -hmm. But another thing that I was uh, worried about was she was all around old boy with the knife, too, at first. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah, which that would have made me probably punch dude in the back of the head, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he got nasty. He cursed at her too. Like, oh, shut the f up. Yeah. Alice was like, wait a minute, hold on. Who you talking to? Hey, for real. As soon as he'd have turned his back on me and 
maybe started talking and I was Ellis. Ellis kind of big. You know what I'm saying? Tall, mm-hmm. cocky. I would have punched him right here in the back of his head and the back of his neck. Right. <laughs> Boom! Knocked him. Before the... he had a chance to move. Damn right. Knocked his little ass out. Little old ass <laughs> out. Bow! Mm-hmm. You know, like, dude, what is you waving over? He probably ain't farmed a damn thing. Right. Little old fat ass worried about what we go eat. You know, so. He worried about his questions. Yeah. I would have already had a hard time living there, though, because they eat mm-hmm. too many vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> God, see, I would have had a hard time. I ain't going to lie, man. I'm, I don't know what the hell wrong with me, but I'd have had a hard time. I ain't eating no goddamn cucumbers every day, man. What the <laughs> hell? Oh, man. We got to fight these things or something. Right. <laughs> Like, oh, man, I'm dying. So, I don't know how they do it. Eat a salad a day. But that would have mm. killed me already. So, um, we'd have had to find a cow or something in the forest. Right. <laughs> something. You, how about you? You eating salad every day? Uh, I mean, that would get so boring so fast. Ooh. It's like, where's the meat? Man, for real. I I think they do have some chickens, but you can't eat it every day because then they won't. You'll eat them up. It's too many people. They ain't going to replace fat. You may get some eggs. You know, you may get a slice of chicken. One slice. Mm-hmm. Man. Like a chicken tender. Right. <laughs> yep. yep. I can see people start setting each other up in Colony House to get mm-hmm. to get killed. Yeah, because he was already flipping out. Oh, they're stealing food. They're hiding food. Yeah. People, like, yeah, people act crazy over food and water mm-hmm. and shelter. I agree with Jim. I agree with Jim when he said, like, maybe this is the plan. Because why did that bus come? Why are they here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he said increase the stress level. Mm-hmm. So I see how Jim is trying to still think uh, outside the box and figure out what may be going on and things. I do. I don't know if it's something man-made though. I don't think it's some man-made okay. experiment. I don't. I think something else is going on. What do you think? I don't know. I'm in between that and the something else. I'm in between. You know, is somebody orchestrating this? But then how? It's like. It's making me feel like Jay back when he first came and he was like, oh, this is like a whole escape room thing. It's like, who could do all of this? Mm-hmm. So I was just like, oh, but I'm, I'm stuck in between those two. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, with with me, I just don't see how a person could figure this out. Mm-hmm. It's just so good. You know, right. when you're driving on the uh, road and you keep turning back into the thing. I don't know mm-hmm. how a person could do that one. That's the thing that throws me off. Everything else right. could have been possible, but they don't they're not explaining that part, you know, and so mm-hmm. I don't know how a person can make you go on the same road unless that road was a circle. Right. But then how did you get on the circle then? You would know how you got on that and then you could get back off it, you know? And everybody's coming from different places. That's the crazy thing. Yeah, yeah, all over like, the country. How? Exactly. And how these select people? Right, right. And now when you have people that actually know each other, that really is mm-hmm. the probabilities of that. I know got to be through the roof. You know what I'm saying? What's yep. the odds of that? You know, out mm-hmm. of what? Billions of people? Or if it's only in America, what? 300 and something million people that's still a lot right. of people it's only what at the most 100 people in that town so out of 300 mm-hmm. million you got just 100 you know that's like a lottery right. of this of this uh, despair <laughs> mm-hmm. you know yeah so everybody's reaction to marielle being there christy's girlfriend they're like what like that's her girlfriend like how did this happen? Right. And then also when Boyd was talking about um, the couple that ended up getting killed, and he was like, you know, I, I had a, a guy that I was in the service with die in my arms. He had, you know, their first and last names. Mm. So it's just like all crazy. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's a lot going on. What do you think, man? Yeah, I agree with you, though. I still agree with Jim. We got to talk. I agree. Because Tabitha, she needs to let somebody know besides her daughter that she's seeing those kids. Yeah. And she finally started to, but she did it by accident. She mentioned about the tunnels. But mm -hmm. I believe that's going to be on the next episode more. But uh, she should have okay. told people more about the tunnels uh, when she came back. Yeah. I feel like they need to have like a nightly meet. Well, not nightly. <laughs> Mid-afternoon. Mm -hmm. Mid-afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> About what they all, you know, Jada seeing these visions. Mm -hmm. Tabitha, like, they all need to talk. Yeah. Because they don't talk That's the, probably a great idea, actually. And, uh, mm -hmm. and as well as doing that, they can try and come up with plans and stuff on what to do and not do and things. Because right yeah. now they all are lost and confused and don't have all the information one person know this the other know that and and that's mm -hmm. probably keeping them down further you yeah know? so who knows um what do you think about uh next episode what what may happen next episode i didn't see the trailer but i'm excited to see what's gonna happen because this this episode was heavy mm -hmm. and i feel like last week even though i wasn't here I felt like that one was heavy too. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, you maybe you know it was a good, <laughs> maybe mm -hmm. it was a good thing I got a little sick because I've been a mess up here. <laughs> that was so emotional to me. I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, I didn't think Ellis was gonna make it. I don't know if he in the clear yet. I mean, I don't know how well she can do a blood transfusion in there, but. You yeah. you have more and then nursing the experience. Blood exactly. So how is that going to work? Is it, I don't know. Can you do a blood transfusion out in the in the street? Basically. I mean, you know, people they have their ways. <laughs> you know, you could do a couple of things. You know, if you have the will to do it. But I was just like, oh, I felt so. My emotions was all over the place. I was like, goodness, mm -hmm. this fool. Being greedy, like listen to the people, like they trying to come up with a solution, and now you just put this man in a position he did not need to be in. Right? Because Ellis is strong now, he's gonna be laid up for a little while. Yeah, yeah, and his arm is messed up. Then he got stabbed. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's who Boyd really need to be his right hand man. Because yeah. Kenny acting stupid. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. I definitely had to get that gun from Kenny soon, so. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He tripping. He didn't turn into the bad guy up in here. He didn't think he got tough now, so. Yeah. You know. Yeah. All right, let me go ahead and give it a Moscow rating, and, okay. and then, uh, you know, we wrap it on up. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> my my rating system, the most go simple, four categories, 25 points max, and give you a total of 100. The visual, cinematography, I love the way that this show looks, and uh, they use great camera work and all of that stuff. Um, I definitely think that uh, it, it looks like it's some old town. They did a great job on that and all of that, so... Um, this episode was good as well as always. I give it a 22 um, out of 25. Well, I give it a, yeah, I give it a 22. Storyline and plot was really good. I'm going to get that a 24. I was sitting there glued to the TV, yelling at it, saying, don't do this, do that. <laughs> Special effects, makeup. You know, they don't always show monsters on this, but when they do, they do a good job. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, when Boyd killed that monster and his face came out, you know, they, they do a good job. So I'm going to give it a a 23 out of 25 uh, 
since there's only one monster, right? <laughs> he got stabbed, but <laughs> uh, it entertained. And fun fact, I was really entertained uh, with this episode, and I'm going to give it a 24. I really enjoyed it. Uh, that gave me a total of a 93 on my on my rating for this episode, which, you know, could be equal to a 9 and a half or a nine, you know, you can round up or down. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, I'm going to give it a 93. So it could be easily a nine or a nine and a half in my book for that episode. Um, how about you, sis? What would you rate this episode? Mine's is a 95. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. I was, my son, he has this thing. I can't get too loud. <laughs> so if I'm screaming, hollering, he he busting out the room. I was going on. So I'm in here, I'm watching it, and I'm yelling like, "Boy, let's go!" He's like, "Mom, what happened?" I'm like, "I'm watching my show, Charlie." He's like, "Oh, I put something in you." Right. When he got the monster, I was like, "Oh my goodness!" Like, yes, let's go. Yeah. Now we hear you screaming like you're always terrorizing everybody. Now you screaming. Right. They looked at their boy and left his ass, too. Mm-hmm. Man, now what you think about Boyd when he said, we're going to bring it inside? We would have never brought that inside. Mm -mm. Not where we about to sleep. No. We'd have to put him in a separate house, an empty house, and go in there and check on him in there or something. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. no. But uh, what do you think about bringing him in and and doing an autopsy? What you think they may find or discover? Oh, now I don't know. I wouldn't well, do it in the daytime. Like <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like he he out there burnt so it's crisp. You know, like just I don't know. Don't yeah. I don't know though. But can we find out some more answers? Oh, yeah. I it's mean, a lot. It's a lot to unpack. <laughs> it is. It is. I mean, I don't know what they could possibly really find that could help them, but uh, it's better than nothing, I guess. You know, maybe they can find out a weakness in them and something. I don't know. Right. Maybe figure out why that blood killed them or something. Um, I still... I'm mm -hmm. surprised he thought of that. Yeah. I didn't think of that one to put that blood into one of them. I didn't think of that either. Yeah. I did not think of that either. But when he went outside and I saw they, you know, they started to come, I was just like stuck on the fact that they were not pouncing, like, you know. So remember when he was in the woods? when he first came out from being with Martin mm -hmm. and we felt like they were just passing him in the woods. So when they were face to face, I was like, okay, why they not attacking? Like, I feel like they feel something, you know, coming from him. Mm -hmm. And that's why they did it. I was thinking that at first too. I thought they was mm -hmm. going to say, you're one of us. I, right. thought, I thought they were going to be like, you contaminated. We don't want you. Yeah. Now bring your son out here. <laughs> <laughs> He's already got a little hole in him. We can just suck mm -hmm. it on out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought uh, for a second they wasn't going to mess with him because he might be one of them now or something. Mm -hmm. and, you know, but they didn't even pick up on it. So they didn't even say nothing when their boy died either. They just was quiet, looked at him, and then looked, walked off like whatever. Mm -hmm. Smiled still. So yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm looking forward to the next episode. See what's going on. Yes, mm -hmm. I know it's the game seven of the NBA playoffs right now going on. So between Miami and Boston, so. Okay. I know it's a lot of people into that. I'm going to come and probably talk about that a little bit later tonight. We'll see. Yeah, my team is out. Who was your team? <laughs> Lakers. Oh, okay. They did really good, though. They came pretty far. Nobody mm -hmm. expected them to make it to that, that level. I think they spent everything they had beating the Warriors, though. And they didn't mm -hmm. have much left for the Nuggets. They was wore out. But they did a great job, though. You know, my team was never even in it, the Bulls. So, what can I say? 
we still remember in the 90s. <laughs> Before we go, Jay, I just wanted mm-hmm. to talk about Victor real quick. Now, right. I know Victor look creepy, but oh, <laughs> I felt so bad for him. I was just like, oh, that's his mama car. Before Jay said, I was like, that's his mama car. He was like, oh, play the song for me. And I was just like, oh, my God. It's like you saw the little boy. Mm-hmm. He wasn't a grown man in that moment. To me, he was a child. Like, he got there when he was a child. Like, right. when he started talking about Christopher, all of this yeah. time, I'm thinking, you know, his mom got attacked by the monsters and the rest of the people that he was there with. So to find out this man did it, it's like, what? Yeah. Now I see um... how he could be the way that he is. Mm-hmm. I can see mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. And that's a good point you bring up. I didn't, I always kind of thought that he was a little off, like in a child state. And then to me, seeing that, I'm like, oh, yeah, he's never grown up, really. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They say sometimes when something traumatic, seriously traumatic happens, right. you could get stuck in that, your mind could get stuck in that time period you know whether something happened as a teenager child or even as an adult but uh i think yeah i think that definitely he's stuck as a child still that's why he still carried a lunch box and stuff and Mm -hmm. tuck his pants in like his mommy told them and things you know he never went to high school you know what I mean? Never got to be with, see what other kids was doing. You know, he just got deprived of so much life. You know, right? Like when and he said everybody was gone when he woke up. He's like, I went to bed. I woke up. Everybody was gone, and it's like, how long was he by himself before more people came? Man, like, no, right? And he survived mm-hmm. somehow. Mm-hmm. It must have been yep. a lot of food left, I guess. <laughs> But uh yeah. But man. How can he <laughs> yeah. He's been there a long time. And he didn't even mm-hmm. know about the uh talismans. Cause Boyd right. found them. Mm-hmm. Un- yeah. Unless he's the one that put them there. Mm. You know, because he's been there for so long, it's pretty hard to survive fifty years without being able to go to sleep indoors. Right. You know, because mm-hmm. a lot of people we don't realize, but that's one of the reasons why early man didn't live long. Because when you sleeping outside, you're going to catch colds and exposed to all kind of stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. So you need some type of indoors, a tent at least or something. So, but a yeah. tent out there ain't going to save you. Mm-mm. So, nope. yeah, you can't be sleeping in gutters. <laughs> unless, he, unless he slept in the day and, and hid and ran in the woods at night. I mm-hmm. don't know. That's a hell of yeah, a life. Yeah. You know, that's why when Jay was talking about, let's get out of here, don't you want to go home? Where would he go? He don't mm-hmm. have none. He's a destroyed person. You right. Know? <laughs> He'd have to be in some group home or something. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm sure he can't remember, you know, where his family is. No. You know, if he did have family members, you know, they're they're gone now. Right. Look how old he is. So if right. he had a grandmother, you know, grandparents, they're not here no more. Nope. So it's like, where was he gonna go? Yeah. Yeah. He, so he's, he's not the same like everybody else. Like everybody else is like, Oh, I wanna go back to, you know, home. Mm-hmm. And yep. he's just like, you know, I don't I don't have nothing. No. Nope. So go Yeah, everything is gone for him. He's the he's the one that's the most destroyed. Mm-hmm. And that's gonna happen to Ethan. If yeah. He, yeah, because if his parents die and he's still there and his sister's gone, mm-hmm. he's gonna be just like him. And he's talking about, I don't yeah. wanna be on the quest anymore. I'm so sick of him in this little nerdy quest. <laughs> <laughs> I, I been... was a little bit annoyed, though. I mean, it, babies are joyous, but yeah. I was just like, come on, Ellis and, and, and uh, Fatima. Look at the situation that you're in. It took me back to The Walking Dead yeah, yeah. when um, this guy's wife got pregnant. Yeah, uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm just like, wait. What are y'all doing? Right, talking about this the, the Asian guy now. and the white and the white girl. 
Right. Get yeah. down if you want to, but like, you know. You better pull out. Better. <laughs> right. <laughs> You better work on that pullout game, man, because mm-hmm. why would you want to be carrying around a baby in these situations? You know what I mean? That's just reckless. Yeah. They so. need to, look, this is where it comes into play. Pull a key and hold that seat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for real. They don't need no babies out there. No. They don't. They sure don't. They sure don't. That is the mm-hmm. truth. So... We'll see what happens. I don't know. Maybe uh, Christy might be turning that into the chop shop. Mm. Yeah. Christy just looked at her like, girl. <laughs> you know, Christy know how to do a whole lot, considering she was, mm-hmm. what, an EMP medic or something like that? <laughs> he said she was in her third year. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. But when the girlfriend was like, oh, you could trust me, I was just looking like, girl, you just got high a little while ago. Right. This is Ellis Ross we talking about. Exactly. It's boy's one. Exactly. You, and you, you better not mess up. Right. Talking about you can trust me. And then she like, did you already use some? She was quiet. Right. So how can I trust you? You already dipped in it. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah. She's squirting this stuff down the throat, down the hatch. Oh, I was just like, what is she doing? Uh-uh. When when Christy was in the mirror and she had put the shirt on, I was like, oh, my, I hope this girl in OD. Right. Because she was nowhere to be found. And then she found the rehab papers. I was like, oh, no. Crazy. Christy don't need to be having to deal with that. Like, she got to take care of the whole damn sound. Yeah, she better uh, chill with her. Mm-hmm. Better work on Kenny and get him under control. Yeah, I, I she thought about Kenny. I, I peeped that when she found out that Sarah was back from the old lady, which now we know the old lady is sick. Because I was like, what's going on with her? She's always snooping around, stealing. What she got going on? So we know that she's sick. But when she found out about Sarah, she was like, oh, you know, she killed somebody. She was talking about Kenny's dad. Like, I think she was trying to get there to see how he was. Mm-hmm. Knowing that Sarah was back. Then she brought up Ethan. Oh, he tried to kill the little boy. But she first was talking about Kenny's father. Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. she she didn't went a little too far. So yeah. it's over for Sarah. Eventually, yeah. I think. Uh but not yet. She need to sit her ass down somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Stop Boy walking said, around. Sarah, watch the door, Sarah. Don't right. go out the house. What does Sarah do? Go out the house. Thank you. Dumbass. She turned around and she told him in his face, oh boy, I shouldn't be here. You know, the people, you know, they, they're not going to want me here. But you go walking around town. For a damn Christmas tree. Yeah, Christmas <laughs> ornament. Right. So, you When know. Kenny broke it, I was just like, okay. I get he it, but he, but he but he made himself look bad in how he handled he it. Yeah. Yeah. But. Because she's a little girl. Still, at the end of the day, and these people don't know what happened, so they right. just—he looked like a bully. Right, right. He did look like a bully. Yeah. When Elgin was in the church with her, I was like, and then when he went and he stepped <laughs> out, he put his ass back onto the other side. Yeah, he thought he was gonna get some draws. He, he was but that blackness kicked in. He was like, "Okay, I gotta go." You, you did what to your brother? Oh, uh, right. So I'll see you later. Uh, <laughs> see you when I see you. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for real. But it was good. It was real good. Yeah, definitely. I like this show a lot. Definitely. Mm-hmm. All right, we getting up out of here, but I appreciate you for coming through. Definitely. Yes, when I can make it, Jay, and I ain't sick, I'm gonna make it. Hey, you know, definitely appreciate it. <laughs> Don't want you under the weather, um, but always mm-hmm. welcome anytime. So, you know, yes. it's all good. And uh, appreciate everybody for watching and coming through. And uh, hopefully we can, you know, help help this show stay going uh, in the little part that we can. So we'll see. Anyway, mm-hmm. y'all take care. Have a good one. Peace. Have a great week. Yeah. Bye, guys.